Good afternoon, BG. Your news for today, January Monday, January twenty second. Hey. Last Monday was Martin Luther King Day. Here's Hayden with a story about that. When it comes to January 15th, there's only one thing that's important to the whole USA and maybe the whole entire world. One man changed the whole day with just one speech, I have a dream. And that man was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today, I spoke to three black male scholar students about what they think the meaning of MLK Day is about. I first talked to sixth grade black male scholar, Ricardi Shandondo. It is that um, every man, like every person is treated, should be treated equally and they're made equally. You shouldn't treat somebody bad just because of their skin tone. Or Next, I talked to seventh grade black male scholar, Kane Allen B. White. He helped racism ended. He had a, a speech about I have a dream. The last black male scholar I talked to is was eighth grader Michael Crow. I think it impacted the people and it was specifically targeted towards, which was white people, showing that he wanted equality for all. I also decided to talk to two black male scholar teachers about what they think MLK Day means to them. I first talked to eighth grade science teacher and seventh grade social studies teacher and black male scholar teacher, Mr. Holder. The meaning of MLK Day is the recognition and remembrance of his legacy, of how he helped change the world from a world of bitterness to a world of peace and tranquility. Uh, he tried to make sure everyone was treated equally amongst uh, the world and in different communities. As you know, as we travel through the United States of America. Lastly, I talked to eighth grade Spanish teacher and the black male scholars administrator, Ms. Flemister. Well, the reason why we observe um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday uh, is because of all of his contributions to the civil rights movement and to society as a whole. From BGJHS News, I'm Hayden Flora. Every year at Bowling Green Junior High, we hold an eighth grade girls basketball night. This year, we talked to some of the players to get their feedback on the upcoming game. We talked to Hadley about her preparation and the team's preparation for the game. A normal practice would look like starting off with some stretches and then maybe, maybe like after that, do some drills. And then if we have time at the end, we'll scrimmage. I think there's always room for improvement. Um, I feel oh, like okay. if we can talk some more on the court, then we'll be just fine in the future. I feel, personally, I feel pretty prepared. Um, as a team, I think we're prepared. We just need to go over some plays and talk some more. We're now headed to the eighth grade hallway to interview another eighth grader, Reagan, about the upcoming game. A normal practice for the team to prepare for the games looks like a bunch of talking, like communication and scrimmaging. So the traditions we do on eighth grade night, we walk down the middle of the floor and take pictures. I feel very excited about the other upcoming game. That's all for BGJHS News. I'm Natalie. See you next week. Some people say that different types of water brands taste different. This week we tested that theory by seeing if Lila, Emery, Bodie, and Henry could see the difference between different types of waters. who was able to guess them all correctly. For BGJHS News, I'm Joanne. And now here's Ava with your weekly announcements. Hey BG, I'm Ava with your weekly announcements. Last week, the cheer team was recognized by Mayor Alcott and the Bowling Green City Commission. The team is excited to represent the school as back-to-back KAPOS cheer state champions. The dance team won their regional competition and will compete for a state title in late February. This week starts the Boys and Girls Basketball Tournament, Good Luck Purples. Wildlife will meet in the library on Tuesday this week. This Wednesday will be the 7th grade Pride Award. There will be an, an adjusted schedule and 6th and 7th will change lunch times. The Purple Perspective is still accepting our submission. See Ms. Cook for more information. The next issue of the Purple Perspective will be available next week. 
See Miss Cook to buy her coffee. Hey BG, I'm all over with your weather. This week it's supposed to be a little bit warmer with a little bit of rain and some thunderstorms towards the end of the week. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Don't forget, excellence is worth effort. Thank you.